bottom right hand corner. I'll be using this with prep students coming up this term as a way of recording their thinking and also for them to do some screen captures as well. So when I press on Doodlecast, it's got some built in music and some different um, elements in here. I'm just going to press start straight away. And if you're using this app, you really need to have some headphones, I think, for the kids because it relies quite heavily on um, sounds and instructions. So basically how this works is I tap on one of these and basically the students start talking verbally, orally, actually explaining what they're doing and also they can draw at the same time. So I'm going to start here um, with the sky one. Let's see how I go with sky. So when I press it, it says what's happening with the sky and it started to record already. So I can start drawing with some different colors on my left hand side. Now what's happening in the sky today is a plane is flying in the sky. And then when my finger goes over the side here, I press play, the play button to stop it. Press done. Happening with the sky and it started to record already. So I can start drawing with some And so you can see button. there that it's recorded my voice. Now, what's happening in the sky today is a plane is flying in the sky. It's actually recording what I'm doing with the pictures and also what I'm doing uh, with my voice. So when we actually finish that now, if I click back on the page, it says new or save. Now I can save. When I press save, it gives me some different options. It prepares it, compresses the video there depending on how long your video is will depend on how long it does take to prepare the video. I just wanted to show you this process because um, it says in a minute it'll say use the photos app to watch or share your movie. So it goes straight to your photo roll or the camera roll uh, at the start. I tap on the screen again, I can go back to new and I start all over again. So it's a terrific way and to be honest, the prep students and year one students that are most likely to use this app probably won't be saving anyway. They can just show the teacher as soon as they've done it. So if I select one of these ones down here, I might say, I might select the family one this time. Okay, so talk about our family. So I'm actually going to draw my family here, talking at the same time. This is Isabel. She is the smallest. The next biggest is Emily. The next biggest is Rachel, she's 10 years old, and there's mummy there, and I might put a dress on her later, and there's dad there, even though uh, mummy's probably taller than dad. And so when I finish there, I actually press on the play button, and I press play, then I press done, and I can watch this back. I'm actually going to draw my family here, talking at the same time, this is Isabel, she is the smallest and then I can just stop that at any time, go back to new, and that's Doodlecast. So in Australia, if you can stop your students actually giggling at the, uh, the name of the app, Doodlecast, um, you're going to have a lot of fun with this app. And I think it really is a fantastic way of getting kids to actually draw, explain things at the same time. Um, I originally was going to use explain everything for this concept, but I'm actually going to use Doodlecast for this because I think it's a really easy uh, app to use um, from an early childhood's perspective. Uh, Show Me is the other app that would be good for this, but I'm going to give Doodlecast a, a go because I like, um, I like the features and I like the simplicity of its use. Paul Hamilton here signing off. That's a tutorial on Doodlecast.